in this chapter, we talk about the adapt, uh, adapting uh, to a changing environment. So organizations, they need to have a right fit between their internal structure and the external environment. So for example, if the outside is, uh, is very unstable and very complex, do you want to have your company from inside to be ready for that? This is the important. Strong companies, they always have this best fit between inside company design and outside environment. For example, if in the outside environment, there is a lot of volatility, do you see? Or maybe there is a new technologies every day. So maybe inside your company, you have to have some sort of a research and development department. This way you're ready for any changes in the environment. Do you see? Remember the fashion company? If you are in a fashion company, you need to have some department that is just to look into the new trends in the market, right? Do you remember the company that is uh, the Pepsi company, which is very stable and very uh, simple? Uh, maybe inside the company, they need to be ready to be for that market. So they have very high efficiency and focus on producing more, focus on reducing cost per transaction, so they are ready for the environment. Uh, we talked here about adding positions and departments or removing positions and departments, building relationships. Maybe if you are uh, in a fashion, you need to have a very good relationship with all of the fashion magazines, with the fashion designers, with the fashion uh, industry, do you see? Uh, if you're a bank, you need to be ready, good relationship with the banking association, with the international banking services, uh, the business intelligence. Uh, you need to be able to understand what happens inside the uh, industry that is going to affect you. Differentiation and integration. Do you guys know what's differentiation? So here we've got the importance that you differentiate. Every department is different so that your company is differentiated. Uh, you want to make sure that uh, if you have a, a bank, maybe, uh, did you see CAC Bank? They have CAC insurance and they made this as a full department that helps <coughs> CAC Bank uh, to be ready for the environment. Uh, integration is when you get all of the departments together in order to work on the same mission. Uh, you do integration, so the department that has to do with the employees, the department that has to do with the customers, they can integrate. So customers are happy and employees are happy, you see. Uh, organic versus mechanistic organizations. Do you guys know the difference between organic and mechanistic? No? Now this is the difference. Organic companies, that's more chemistry. Mechanistic, that's more physics. Do you guys know physics and chemistry? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So the company is organic. Uh, uh, let's take an example. Remember the advertising company? Uh, let's compare it with the Pepsi company. Okay. Inside Pepsi, do all the employees work? Good. Inside uh, the advertising company. Do all the people there work? Yes, they all work in both companies, okay? But let's look how they work together. Inside the advertising company, uh, people there will sit together and they have to come up with a new advertising campaign. Let's say an advertising company called, let's say, mass, mass advertising. They will make an advertisement for the bank. So now they need to sit together, think about the design, make the design, decide on where they will make the advertising, and then decide we will make a billboard, we will make advertising on the internet, we will make some advertising on YouTube, and they need to come up with ideas. What was the best advertisement you have seen? Probably the people who made that advertisement have got some energy together, five people sit together and come up with a lot of ideas, select the best idea, and bang, we've got this new. Do you remember in chemistry, you take sodium, magnesium, boom! Do you see you've got something new? The idea of organic is you get something new, you need something creative. Uh, companies who are more organic, they need to think together, they need to get their minds mixed, they need to have some a lot of communication, they need to have flexible time. That's organic. That's chemistry. Do you see? Remember the batteries, inside the batteries, there is a chemical interaction. Bam! We've got electricity. Do you see coming from the battery? Uh, on the other hand, on the mechanistic company, mechanistics, they're like step by step. Remember that company they do the chicken, cut chicken, chicken, cut chicken? In that example, people get the chicken, cut the head, cut the legs, cut the wings, next chicken. 
cut the legs, cut the wings, cut the, and the next chicken. Do you see? Maybe if we have five people, one person take the chicken, second person cut the head, cut the head, and the third person, they cut the wings, cut the wings, cut the wings. Do you see? It's more of a mechanistic. It's like a step by step. Do you remember physics? Do you see? This is physics. You take ice, you break it, become two parts. You put it inside the uh, oven, it become water. You take it inside the boiler, it become it vaporized. Do you see? Step, step, step. There's no bomb. Do you see? So that's the idea of organic and mechanistic. Did you guys understand this? If you understand, raise your hand. Great, you guys are amazing. If you did not get it, raise your hand. Okay, we've got someone who didn't get it. Let's see why. 